Welcome back, YouTube. General Soul back with MLB The Show 24, Road to the Show. Our Tigers closing pitcher. Gonna have to get used to that. And we got a series here against the Senators, who are the Washington Nationals. And we're pitching in the first game. Cool. Joining us now, Ben Gelman here, bringing you the action. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth inning. Well, it's a one-run ball game. The first baseman now at the plate, one for three. Can't alter the approach here at the plate, not really known for a ton of pop. You shouldn't try to win it all at once, just get on base and set the table for the hitters behind you. I would love to retire the side in order. Right through there for a strike. Great job out of the pen spotting pitches down and away like that. Even if the batter gets the head of the bat there, it's hard for him to do much damage. Swings and misses. No ball, two strikes. I've kind of noticed a pattern with how this game wants me to pitch guys whenever I first come out. In the air to left, coming in on Puts it away for the out. The bat, number nine. Kevin Made. He's two outs away. Kevin Made will hit next. One for two. And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. One run game here in the top of the ninth inning. In the air Damn, that was hit hard. Racing into the alley. Makes the catch for the out. Good. Had to cover a lot of ground there, and that's why you take those extra reps during batting practice. Getting reads on the ball as it comes off the bat. Even a quarter second's hesitation can cost you in the game. If I can get this guy out, that's the challenge. The catcher in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Getting squeezed yeah, what a bit the, here in the lane. Yeah, going. we have this umpire who doesn't know the strike zone. And that one is in for a strike. Are you sure? Sure you don't want to squeeze a little bit more? Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Right side and this That's might game. do it. Retired in the, the first order. Ball game. Okay, am I going to pitch any more against this team? Oh, you were still in here, Zoe? Joining us now, Ben Gelman here, bringing you the action. All right, I got my glasses. of this one, nobody out in the ninth inning. Well, it's a one-run ball game. And now it's the switch hitting second base. Let's not give up a hit. Alter the approach here at the plate, not really known for a ton of pop. You shouldn't try to win it all at once. Just get on base and set the table for the hitters behind you. And that one fouled off. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Now one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Gotcha. Misses, struck him out. The right fielder digs in now. One for three. That one finds the zone. Oh, 
breaking ball in there. Ooh, wow, I was just gifted one. strikes on the inner half of the plate. That leaves the batter vulnerable away. Maybe something off speed. Or maybe something down towards the dirt. They're down to their final out. And this is the kind of work the manager was hoping for, calling him out of the bullpen to start this inning. Those two straight Ks really build confidence for the whole team that they can hold this lead. So down to their final out of this one. The designated hitter, number 35, getting ready to hit. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. Fuentes, only 18 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. One run game here in the top of the ninth inning. They're down to their final strike Ooh. of the game. Didn't, didn't go where like I wanted, but at least he didn't swing. And now he has to battle down 0 2. Fuentes is just one strike away. Oh, come on. Might have been called a ball. This umpire. was outstanding in really helping them get the win. Pitched a clean inning for the save. That was a really nice performance out of the pen. Attacked hitters and didn't beat himself. Great job to usher them to the win. Are right, we going to play anymore? The final line score for our ball game for the Victoria Seagulls. Nope. That is it. We just pitched the first two games. All right, next is the Bay Sox. I believe that's the Orioles. Bullpen. Let's do the slurve break. All right, this will finish off the month. Let's play the Bay Sox. Us now, Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth inning. And now the shortstop, Jalen Vasquez, over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. In for a strike. 0-1. That's not a pitch you want to swing at early in the count. Most likely, you'll just roll over it. If you have two strikes on you, that's different, of course. Late with the swing there. Oops. Swings through yep. Got him. Two outs away. And here's the first baseman. Number nine hitter here trying to get on base. Set the table for the top of the lineup and give them a chance at staying alive in this one. Bouncer out to short. That's an out. The throw to first. Two up, two down. The center field. Got left. Oh, no. So down to their final out of this one. Here's the center fielder, Douglas Hodo. <laughs> On the ground, this and that's it. game. And handles this chance. That's the ball game. Fuentes was outstanding in relief, helping them get the win. Didn't allow any runs and got the save. He gave them a textbook performance out of the pen. And shutdown relief like this is always valuable. Nice job to help them get the W. Any more? Yep. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Well, it's a one-run ball game. Douglas Hodo digs in now. One for three. Hodo. 
center oh, shit. Takes the grab, one away. The batter, number one, second baseman. And now, Anthony. the second baseman, number one. Corner infielders guard the lines. They're trying to keep extra bases at bay. And he's got really good wheels. One of those skills you really can't teach. Buns, but that's a foul ball. <laughs> you watch Ron Bunt again? A one-run lead. We're in the bottom of the I'm gonna make inning. that be pit lower. Great job out of the pen spotting pitches down and away like that. Even if the batter gets the head of the bat there, it's hard for him to do much damage. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Swings and misses, struck him out. That's out number two. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. And now, Diego Castillo. The designated hitter. Diego. Out to center. Catch it. And it drops Damn. in. And that puts the tying run on base. Now that number 22. You ain't getting any more. Here, bottom of the ninth, down Lower. to the last out. Now it's the shortstop, Jalen Vasquez. Rolls away a little bit, and the runner will hold. With the tying run aboard at first, here in the last half of the ninth. Next pitch, in for a strike. Okay. They're down to their final strike of the game. That was like the perfect pitch to hit, too. The Bay Sox down to their last strike. strike so was that. <laughs> but you have no patience. <laughs> Fuentes, with a good relief effort to help lock down the victory, didn't allow any runs and got the save. Two more possible and games to play. always like to see relievers come out and take care of business. He did exactly that, and they got the win. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious season. Four runs on 11 hit. No errors. They left. I'm Ben Gelman. Thanks to those of you joining us late. We've got a good one going here in extra innings. And now the center fielder, Douglas Hodo. So far, he's 0 for 4 with three strikeouts and a ground out. A chance right here to erase a bad game with a walk-off knock. All right, no runs. There's a strike. With the runner at second, the batter is thinking big. He doesn't want to just move the runner along. He wants to drive in the run and pick up the RBI. And the tying run at second. Little chopper rolls foul. And one and two. Impeccable discipline to lay off of that one. Wow. Right through there for the strikeout. Shouldn't have laid off that one. Digging in, the third baseman, number 90. 0 for 4 on a pair of strikeouts and a pair of ground runs. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. Sit down, son. Down well, Ain't nobody getting on base with me up here. So it's their last chance of the ball game. Next up, the designated hitter, number one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Probably the best pitch you're going to see. 
with the potential winning run at the plate. And we're in the bottom of the 11th inning. The next offering misses. So a ball and a strike. The Bay Sox down to their last strike. Sky That's to left, and this should do it. <laughs> Ball game. Fuentes with a fantastic bit of relief work in the win. Pitched a clean inning for the save. Locked out relief. One more possible exactly game. Exactly what they're counting on him to deliver. Nice job to help get the win. <clears throat> the final line score for our ball game. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Well, it's a one-run ball game. And now the right fielder, one for three. That catches the zone for a strike. That one to first. And steps on the bag for the out. Now that the catcher. Next. He's two outs away. The catcher, the next to hit. Over three, two strikeouts and a fly out. <laughs> Rounder left side. Again. Next. Sends it across to first. Only one out remaining. The left fielder, number 10. Hey. The left fielder getting ready to hit. Corner infielders guard the lines. They're trying to keep extra bases at bay. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 1. There's a strike. Rapid fire work on the mound. He's keeping these batters on their toes. Fuentes is just one strike away. Got it. And that is the ball game. Fuentes with a terrific appearance in relief, helping them lock down the win. Didn't allow any runs and got the save. That was a really nice performance out of the pen. Attacked hitters and didn't beat himself. Great job to usher them to the win. Wait, I'm the number 17 major league prospect already? So I'm number 17, number one closer, number two with the Tigers now. Wow. <clears throat> Usually I have to crawl up the rankings. Alright, so we got a gold perk and we got an equipment pack. Oh, what's up? What? Already? I only pitched 10 games. What? It looks like the Tigers need a closer now. <laughs> wow, I've never had to be that, especially for a closer. Oh my God, that quick. <laughs> I expected to be here for a lot longer. Wow. Little more than a month. I only pitched 10 innings. Toledo. Wild Hens. 
see the sea wolves I'm used to. Wild hands I barely ever played for. Yep, just one step for the tigers. I can't believe we got moved up that quickly. Jeez. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually shocked that it's just that quick. Speed, fielding, and power. I have two of those. I have two of those. So all we got was speed one. Okay, for an equipment pack, we got... I've got all these. Sixty-nine overall now. May second. We just played the entire month of April, barely, and I'm already in Triple A. How many? Ten games, ten innings, and they already decided. Let's move him up. Jesus. I am. I'm shocked. I've never seen it happen that quickly. I don't think that I'm ready to be moved up, though. <clears throat> I need to get to a, at least a 60, uh, 76. So they need to give me some time. I'm not ready to be their closer. All right, who are we against? Clippers? I didn't know we were playing a basketball team. Who are you? You are the Guardians. That's going to be funny if I make my AAA debut against the Clippers because I made my AAA, my AA debut against the Rubber Ducks, who are the Guardians. <laughs> and then it'd be funny if I made my Major League debut against the Guardians. How is this team doing? We're first place. Sea Wolves are first place. Tigers aren't doing too good. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're hurrying me up. They're like, we need you. All right, so. I'm number 17. Usually it takes me a few games before I even get on the roster. So the only person who's better than me is Max Clark. Who is our center fielder? Well, Paul Skeens is in double A here. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're not playing. Well, we lost. I didn't even train. So, St. Paul. The Saints. Who are the Saints? I don't know these AAA teams. The Saints. The Twins. I'm not used to that uh, icon. I've played for the Twins before. And I don't... Re didn't recall them. All right, well, let's do it. Finally making my debut. We've got a one run lead. He takes the mound for the first time at the triple A level. Time to take a breath, remember all he's learned, and just play ball. 
We're back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth inning in this one. And now the shortstop, number 72. Can't alter the approach here at the plate, not really known for a ton of pop. You shouldn't try to win it all at once, just get on base and set the table for the hitters behind you. That misses the zone, 1-0. Pops it up, foul on the left side. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The center fielder, Deshaun Jersey Jr. He's two outs away. Next up, the center fielder, number 89. And he's got really good wheels, one of those skills you really can't teach. And there's a ball. Don't know my, why my release is being so horrible right now. There we go. Foul ball there. A one-run lead. You're in the top of the ninth. That one pushed to the left and foul. And one and two. And it's a pop-up. And there's two down. All right, we're doing pretty good. So it's their last chance of the ball game. Here's the catcher, number 29. Corner infielders guard the lines. They're trying to keep extra bases at bay. And that one fouled off. <coughs> Hoping to put the tying run aboard. Just missed. One and one. Here's a high chopper. Okay. And that will do it. Congratulations to the closer as he notches his first save at the triple A level. All right, can we play any more? Nope, that's it. Just the one game. Oh, we have the Cubs. <laughs> All right, well. Let's do that break. Uh, I remember playing for the Cubs last year's game. Starting pitcher was a Cubby. I think I still have that pitcher too. Got him up to the second season and I was just like, nah. joining us late we've got a good one going here in extra innings we head back to the top of the order the left fielder getting ready to hit and you'd have to think that a breakthrough might be coming here swings through that one damn tenth inning all right the 0-2 pitch. Goes down looking on that one. It was in there. That was a strike. Right now it's the right fielder, Garrett, Garrett Cooper. Cooper. And he's just a terrific defender. Not a lot of minor leaguers who can handle themselves in the field like he does. Swing oh, shit. Drive. And it's out of here. As soon as I heard the crack, Touches I knew it was gone. It's 4-3. Clearly, he knew exactly what he was looking for and got it on the first pitch. That's where an aggressive approach pays off.
great job to get the bat head to the sinker down and in. Not only did he avoid chopping it off his foot, but he crushed it out for a home run. That's excellent hitting. Yeah, if I give a hit, it's a, like a first pitch well, hit. We're still now, winning, Dominic so Smith. I'm keeping this low. Pitch misses. Not that low. Trying to close out this one run lead and here in extra innings. And that's a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a base hit. Of course. So one on now with one away. Now that the designated hitter, Michael. One away and a runner at first. Next up, Michael Bush. I'm not going that high. That misses. I don't want that low up. either. Stop lying about my release. Fouled off. He was late. <clears throat> Clips the corner. And the count is one and two. Punches that one away Fuck with two you, strikes. you couldn't hit that. Tying run at first, potential winning run at the plate. Got the strikeout. Only one out I was given that, that one. That is a critical call right there, and the pitcher is fully aware he got lucky. That umpire knows there will be some commentary coming his way from that the That umpire doesn't care. Strike. He doesn't know what the strike zone so is. down to their final out of this one. Now at the plate, the third baseman, number 98, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And he grounds it to the right side. And of course, and first base can't play, play the position. And now two aboard, the winning run is on base. First base hadn't been covering. He had it. The second baseman now at the plate, trying to deliver as the hero. There's a strike. No. Hello, Zoe. <sighs> With the tying run at second, winning run at first, and the home team trying to send these fans home happy. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Not sure he was ready to hit. Took the first two pitches for strikes. Time for him to battle now. Downstairs. You know, you can't win if you don't take the bat off your shoulders. The Cubs down to their last strike. Better, but you were supposed to miss. Got the swing like that. Strikeout. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard. This one is over. If he's going to keep getting the ball out of the bullpen, he'll need to do much better than he did in this one. They got the win, but he sure didn't help. Oh, shut the fuck up. It's not my fault that that guy just hit the sinker right off the bat. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. The second baseman digs in now. The second baseman. That hits the dirt. And that's ball one. Fuentes, only 18 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and one.
Breaking ball through there for a strike. Grounds this one to short. Soretti. Zips it to first. Got the head on the bat. Of the ninth. Now batting. Third baseman. And now at the plate, the third baseman, number 98. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. Fly ball to right. Catch it. Yep. Makes the catch. Two away now. The right fielder, number five. So it's their last chance of the ball game. Alexander Canario will hit next. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. <laughs> I was given one there. Fuentes is just one strike away. And that's outside. <clears throat> if you don't take the bat off your shoulders, you'll never win. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And that'll do it. Fuentes was outstanding in relief, helping them get the win. Didn't that was the series. Runs and got the save. He gave them a textbook performance out of the pen. And shut down relief like this is always valuable. Nice job to help them get the W. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we can play one or two more series. So let's do our training. Let's do our control this time. And who is Louisville? Okay, you are the Reds. All right. <clears throat> Playing the first game. What are you doing, Zoe? You're not getting back there. To those of you joining us now, Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Well, it's a one-run ball game, and now the right fielder, Connor Capel. Swings through it. Breaking ball in there for a strike. After two straight off-speed pitches, he needs to run a two-strike fastball up above the zone. Try to get a chase. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Ball one. Strike three. Got him swinging. One gone. He's I don't know what away. my cat's doing. She's never done this before. Get out of there. That one in there. Oh and one. Great job out of the pen. You're not getting in there either. Like Even if the batter gets the head what of the bat there, you today? it's hard for him to do much damage. That one's in there. That is strike two. Got the strikeout looking. Only one out remaining. That is I'll a give it a strike there. Right there, and the pitcher is fully aware he got lucky. That umpire knows there will be some commentary coming his way from the dugout after that called third strike. I was Huge just trying to get a here. chase. Of the ninth, down to their last out. Josh I didn't see where you wanted it, so I guess we'll go right here. Guard the lines they're trying to keep extra bases at bay. That one finds the zone. Go ball, one strike.
hoping to put the tying run aboard. They're down to their final strike of the game. No ball. Swing and a miss. Ball game over. Fuentes had a strong showing in relief in the win. Didn't allow any runs and got the save. He gave them a textbook performance out of the pen. And shut down relief like this is always valuable. Nice job to help them get the W. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious fight. I'm Ben Gelman. Thanks to those of you joining us late. We've got a good one going here in extra innings. Well, it's a one-run ball game. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Capel. This one chopped on the ground, picks it up in foul ground. With the runner at second, the batter is thinking big. He doesn't want to just move the runner along. He wants to drive in the run and pick up the RBI. And the tying run at second. Bounces it to the left side. That keeps Kennedy. him at second. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Now batting, left fielder, Nick Martini. Next to hit, Nick Martini. A chance right here to erase a bad game with a walk-off knock. We're not allowing that run. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. That's not a pitch you want to swing at early in the count. Most likely you'll just roll over it. If you have two strikes on you, that's different, of course. On 0 and 1, the delivery. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swings through it, and that's a K. Well, I could have gotten the other challenge of getting him with a strikeout and out of the zone. And here's the first baseman, Mike Four, trying to deliver as the hero. That's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Not sure he was ready to hit. Took the first two pitches for strikes. Time for him to battle now. Fuentes is just one strike away. Damn. If only he had missed. And again on 0 and 2. Good eye on that pitch. Now only had swung. To lay off of that one. Wow. What the fuck? I don't know what I was thinking there. Nice job behind the dish. I don't know what I was thinking there. I screwed that Here's one up two, bad. Two. Just misses the inner half. What a take with two strikes. The designated hitter in the on deck circle. Trying to close out this one run lead, and we're in the bottom of the 11th inning. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. <coughs> because he's too chicken shit to take the bat off of his damn shoulder. And now at the plate, the designated hitter, number 39. Down to their last out, but a chance to get the tying, maybe even the winning run. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Two outs, and both the tying and winning runs are on. And caught it behind the back. That's game. To first. And what a play. Ball game. Fuentes with a good relief effort to help lock down the victory. Didn't allow any runs and got the save. He was steady enough and gave them a chance to win. Can't ask for much more than that. The final line score for our hey, am I playing anymore? <coughs> nope, that's the series. How are we doing on time? We can probably do one more. Pitching perk and equipment. Shoes are the only ones I don't have. Pick one. Velocity and break is the only thing I don't have. And I'm not going to use it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're a 70 overall. Nice. All right, let's see. Let's go with that. Uh, let's get that break. <clears throat> I was considering control there for a second. All right, who is this? Rail Riders. I'm trying to remember who the Rail Riders are. They are the Yankees. Right, let's do this series and finish off this month and see if we go up to major leagues before the end of this video. Welcome to those of you joining us now. Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Oswaldo Cabrera now at the plate. He's already homered in this ballgame. Hmm, I'm not even getting a save opportunity. This is just to keep it close. On the ground to the left, Soretti. And there's one down. Now batting, designated hitter, Jemai. Jemai Jones <laughs> will hit next. One for three. This one popped I got it, 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 I got it. Two down. The battle is the first baseman, TJ Rumpier. And now, the first baseman, number 87. I am bringing that down a little bit. Bouncing ball here rolls foul. The 0 1. Liner snagged it first. Offense held in check here. On to the bottom of the ninth. Top of the order due up next. We're tied in this one 2 to 2. So, possibility of a win. We're back here at the ball. Nope. Digging in the switch hitting outfielder, Jason Dominguez. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And that's outside. And it's one and one. And a big swing and a miss. Cut on a miss. That's a strikeout. Gotcha. So digging in, Jordan Groshans. Are you kidding me right now? Good job. A nice job on that dive. He left his feet, stretched out, and made the diving catch for the out. Whew. It's like, yeah, baby. Now it's the shortstop, George Lombard Jr. Hitting at the bottom of the order, not a lot of success at the dish lately, but could start to move up with a good performance in a big moment like this. I don't want to allow a single run. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And the I just strike got gifted zone one. swells in size. That one misses, and the count even one and one. Trying to keep this tied at two. Here in extra innings. That one finds the zone. Why is my release so horrible right the now? Will target the outer half of the plate. In the dirt. 
Exactly as planned. All set for the start of this inning, and now George Lombard Jr. Number nine. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Gotcha. Swing and a miss. And now one out. The batter. Ben Warpet digs in now. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strike. Such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Keeps the heart rate low, maintains focus, and doesn't shift approach in run scoring opportunities. What an asset in the lineup. This pitch misses, and the no, it won. didn't. That was really close around the knees, but he's handling it well on the mound. Just has to adjust his sights. Which umpire is this? Yeah, uh, the other shitty umpire. One-one pitch now. Are you sure? Because the last pitch was about the same location. Battling here, fouls it away. Swings and misses, struck him out. And two away now. The the Next to hit, base. the second baseman, Your number base. 90. Let's go, pitch to him. Foul ball there. Yeah. Let's not throw that one again. Two down and the potential go-ahead run in scoring position. Swings and misses. Good eye on that pitch. Impeccable discipline to lay off of that one. Wow. And one and two. And another ball. He goes down looking. Very fired up after that and completely understandable. Great job to make some key pitches and get out of a tough inning. A 3-2 final score. I got the win. A one run, extra <laughs> inning win. For our entire outstanding crew here at the show. How much time do we got left? Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we don't play too many more games like that because I'm running out of time. Now, Ben Gelman here bringing you the action. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth inning. Look and fuzzles. We're not allowing a run. Corner infielders guard the lines. They're trying to keep extra bases at bay. That one's in there. The reason I'm confuzzled is the home run I gave I thought was a two-run home run, which would mean if I don't give up a run this inning, my ERA should be two. Instead, it's one. The late movement just makes it dive under the bat. On the ground to short. Oh, gloves it to first. But safe at first. Nice try defensively. Great hustle. And the tying run is on. A plus effort from the shortstop. He dives and makes the stop before throwing over to first, but just not there in time. That batter was really hustling as he left the box, and it paid off for him with a single. So if he's that fast, I might need to watch him. Runner at first. Next up, the designated hitter, <laughs> Jemai Jones. He's not even that fast. On the ground, could be two. Glove flip for one, and that's two. <laughs> that double play is massive for them, and now the closer just has one guy left to get for the save. Yeah, I need to hurry up and get this done. I've got five minutes left. So it's their last.
last chance of the ball game. The first baseman, number 87, the next to hit. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Of course, whenever I said we could probably do one more series, I didn't think that I was going to pitch three innings in one for a win. Hoping to put the tying run aboard. This one hit to That's second game. might be it. On to first, ball game. Where are we at on the series? There's one more game. One more game that I could possibly pitch. So long as it's not another three inning, extra innings outing, I'm good. Yeah, my ERA as far as I was um, concerned, it should be a two. I thought I gave up a two run home run, not a one run. Fuentes, a 6'4 righty, he works with a slur, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. The 0-1 offering. And there's a breaking ball that drops in. He didn't like either of the first two he saw, and now he has to battle down 0-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's two outs away. And the next batter, Jason Dominguez. 0 for 4 so far. He's flied out twice and also grounded out and struck out. Breaking ball in there for a strike. One down. Base is empty here in the ninth. Right through there for a strike. See if he'll chase this one. Didn't have to. You, you, to their final out. you can't get a like win if you don't take the bat off your shoulders. Him out of the bullpen to start this inning. Those two straight pays really build confidence for the whole team that they can hold this lead. So down to their final out of this one. Now it's the right fielder, Luis Gonzalez. Swings through that one for strike one. He started this frame with seven straight strikes. We're in immaculate inning territory. Breaking ball through there for a strike. That's number eight. Only one to go. The Rail Riders down to their last strike. An immaculate inning for a save. Fuentes with a fantastic bit of relief work in the win. Faced three hitters and whipped all three for the save. That was a really nice performance out of the pen. Attacked hitters and didn't beat himself. Great job to usher them to the win. Whew. Okay, we're going to very quickly... I'm going to have to get these in the next video. We're going to very quickly do our training. Uh, we're going to do control this time. All right, so we've got Indianapolis next. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for more. If you feel like donating to the cause, there's a link in the description to buy me a coffee. Not, a, not required. Is appreciated. And I will see you guys next time.